Hi, beautiful people. So it's a wonderful, wonderful day again. And Tri Solace is here with you. We are at the Siakwa Bunsu uh, on the Kumasi Accra stretch. Well, we are on a client's premises where she does uh, mudfish, catfish, rabbits, grass cutter, and she's opening soon. Uh, right here at the Siakwa Junction. And uh, we have built a spectacular edifice here that uh, we want everyone to sort of see. So we were the first to touch the ground. The ground was almost a virgin place, but right unfortunately they had taken away the topsoil, meaning that we had a lot of uh, soil treatments to do. And then uh, this is the setup we recommended for the client as well. So we can recommend solar treatment to you or solar power to you so this is a an eight panel or a, this is a 10 panel solar system that a client did so that powers everything including the tanks the pumps and everything so let's just go in have a look at the solar system so this is where the caretaker will be the caretaker for the place will sleep here and this is the solar system the the switch for the pumps so this is an inverter, the solar inverter. It converts all the sun rays to electricity for us to use and everything is stored in this four battery power system. These are deep sign batteries. So deep sign batteries meaning that they are very powerful, they last longer. And these are the circuit breakers and then the power switch on and off. You can also attach a generator set to the setup if you want to boost power so this is how it is in the morning it charges up and when it is done it cuts off itself and then it tells you what power you are consuming at every given time these are powerful 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 solar appliances that we recommended for the client so that is for the power that gives light so let there be light and there is light uh, and then that also powers the it powers the systems up here so we have the borehole so the borehole was also that and then it's connected to the electricity so whenever there's no water uh, they want to pump they just turn on the pump system and then it draws water uh, into the tanks and then into our own tank so this is our beauty so this is tri solace what we do best this is a three system greenhouse structure that we've built at the sea aqua and then like always we promise and we deliver on our wet and then in just a month see how a barren rocky place like this has turned into almost a forest so follow me let me show you these are some of the things we bring so every day we bring goodies we put them in there make sure that they work we have uh sweet potatoes we have cassava we have cocoa yams we have uh the banana that is the dwarf bananas etc etc so this is just to break uh storm and also to break water from going in so these are some of the setup very nicely done uh we have just fumigated the place so we have some dwarf bananas in there very soon they'll be having a lot of bananas in here as well so the only weeds you see are the the straw that is there or the uh the grass that you see the tall grass the lemon grass or the tall grass that you see there so these are the only grass you see around these are our irrigation systems and these are our stoppers our flexi pipes all the setup everything nicely done and then this is very good covering for the snails so this is what we promise and this is what we deliver we deliver an investment you can see and grow for yourself in your own house. Trisolis is always here to help. So let's go to the second tent. This is the first from the right. So let's go to the second tent. We have the second tent here. Well, we have Benji in there. So we we'll let Benji say a few words for the viewers. So Benji, what are you doing? 
I'm actually fumigating the place because I found some white flies and they are going to end up eating the potato leaves but we need them for cover sure. so we have to make sure we get rid of them so that we continue to get this enough cover for the snails to thrive very well in here okay okay yeah. but wouldn't that kill the snails no we are doing this now because the snails are not being here like they've not been here they've not been introduced so it will take some time okay it's far automatically just vanish and then we come do the stocking okay and everything will go well okay great thanks man Welcome. Okay, so this is the second tent. It also has the all the other sweet potatoes, the plants, all the other things. And this is the most beautiful part of it. This is where it has a mixture of a little bit of grass and a little bit of everything. So it mimics the natural environment very well. And that is holy. So holy, what, what are we doing today? Oh, we are planting more cover crops. Today. More cover crops, mainly what? Banana. Banana, okay. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. But so far, you're okay with the progress? Yes. Okay, great. So we have some contumere or taro or kukuyam leaves, as it's called. We have some sweet potato. Look how beautiful the sweet potatoes are. You know, I'm sure I'll come and stay here and eat some of it with the snails. If, if Benji will allow. So this is our setup. Very nice. And then the client is doing a little bit of other things. So once we're here, let's... So this was a rocky place. Just a rocky place like this because they had taken off the topsoil. And it was just left with this, this rocky place. And this is what we have done with it. The beauty of our Greek. No soil is dead. No soil is untreatable. We can treat it. And then we always come with these goodies to plant in there to make sure that everything is okay. So the client is doing fishes as well. So these are mud fish tanks constructed by a foam hene on a foam TV. He does all these setups very nicely done. Uh, they do it excellent, excellent work and I'm really impressed. And then they have stocked a few of them. I think each tank can contain a thousand pieces. I might be off a bit, but I'm sure that is how it is. So each tank might take uh, about a thousand. And these are the young ones. Look at the fishes. Oh. Whoa. So these are the fingerlings of the mud fish in here. And if you put feed in there, they will come and take the feed. So they come up to take air because the aerators are not on yet. I'm sure that's why they come up to take air and then go back down. And then this place has been covered so there is no uh, direct sunlight onto the, uh, the fishes. And there are very little uh, insects or flies to worry them. And then they have the inlet outlet, you know, so because they have the water here, things are going very well. And then this they are treating the water. I think they are treating the pH level of the water. So this is a natural remedy of taking either up or down the pH level or pH meter. So yeah. So these are some of the pipes laid here, connected to the pipe system. And these are possibly the aerators, the aerators that make sure that there's air and water intake balance in there. So yes, this is an awesome setup that uh, we love. So we collaborate with the full Mohini on most projects. So if you want to do snails, vegetables, uh, fishes, anything at all, you contact us. We have reliable people to help you do all these setups. And this is Trisolis, always delivering on our web. This was built in less than two weeks. And then in a month, everything is set. Everything is set so well that we are going to introduce the snails next week. So next week we are bringing you live and colored in action. Excellent, awesome news for this client. We are introducing 3,000 snails. Three, three, three thousand snails here. With the solar, with the good foliage, with the good water systems, 
we know that this is going to be one of the best 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 greenhouses we've constructed so far and this has been trisolis at a siakwa in the east in we say adios mia